Mm. This special angle table, oh, you need to know what are all the values. But I got a way that you don't need to memorize. Okay, You learn radial measure that pi is equal to 180 degrees. So 90 degrees is pi over 2. 45 degrees is pi over 4. 30 degrees is 180 divided by 6, right? So it's pi over 6. Okay, 60 degree is pi over 3. 270 degree, you need to know this, uh, 3 pi over 2, because when you draw a graph, you will need this. And then 360 degree is 2 pi. Not how to remember this, all this in certain form. Okay, basically I never memorized. Now go and take out your calculator, right? Key into a calculator, sign 45. Okay, so when you key into a calculator, right? Uh, make sure it is in degree mode first. Uh. Okay, you can, of course, you want to change it to radian mode also can, but make sure you, if you change it to radian mode, make sure you put in the right thing. Okay, so in degree mode, key in sign 45. You will get the same as me, 0 0.707, right? Okay, basically this 0 0.707 uh, is in cert form, it's in square root form. But what is the cert form, we don't know. So I have this trick, you read what I write. When you key in sign 45, you get 0 0.707, da, 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 da. You go and square this. The answer is half. So which means when I use 0 0.707 square, it will be half. So what is 0 0.707? That will be, okay? Sine 45 was 0 0.707 something. It will be square root of one over two. So this guy is one over root two, okay? Now, same thing. Let's go and key into sine 60. 0.866. So sine 60 is equal to 0.866. It's in cert form. What kind of cert? We don't know. So my method is to go and square this. So when you square this, you get 3 over 4. If you haven't squared this, this means when I square root 3 over 4, it is equal to root 3 over 2. Okay? So this guy is root 3 over 2. Anyway, 1 over root 2 is actually not very nice. If you rationalize it, right, you will get root 2 over 2. Times root 2, times root 2, you'll get root 2 over 2. Sine 0 is 0. Okay? Sine 30 is half. So basically, right, when you are doing with 30, 45, and 60, right, you need to express them in the exact form. This is called special angle. Okay? It's in the syllabus that whenever it, anything's in, in terms of 30, 45, and 60, it must always be in an exact form. And then they will always say without using calculator. But can you use calculator or not? You still can use calculator. You just, the only difference is you need to show this and this in exact form. How? Just keep your calculator. Whatever answer you get, you square it. Then the value is the square rooted of that value. Cosine zero. If you have done your graph, you will know that cosine zero is equal to one. Okay. Then, cosine 30 is the same as sine 60. Cosine 30 is the same as sine 60. Okay, if not, you can still use your calculator. Don't, that's why I say don't memorize. Try to find the easiest way you can remember the things. So I have cosine 30. I get 0 0.866, which you should know that is a cert number. So you square it. 0 0.866 square is... 3 over 4. So before you square it, the, the answer will be root 3 over 2. Lor. So this guy is root 2 over 2, this guy is half, and then this guy is 0. Okay? So tangent 0 is 0. Tangent 30 is equals to 0 0.577. It's a cert number. Do we know what is the cert number? We don't know. So what is the technique? We go and square it. When you square it, you get 1 over root 3. So which means that Tangent 30 is equal to the square root of 1 over 3, which is equal to 1 over root 3. You can leave it as that, or better still, go and rationalize root 3 over root 3. You will get root 3 over 3. So this guy is root 3 over 3. Okay, so I'm teaching you this precious method of don't need to memorize this table, find a way to get it. Okay, 1 tangent 60. 1.73205. The third number is square is 3. So this will be square root of 3. Tangent 90. Undefined. Okay, so this table you need to know.
So whenever they say without using calculator, means you must express it with this table. Okay, so sine 30 is half. How do you know? I never memorized. You go and key into the calculator, sine 30, half. Then you just write half there. Okay, next one. Uh, cosine 45. When you key into the calculator, you will get 0 0.707. So when you square it, you'll become 1 over 2. So you just keep it as root 2 over 2. Practice more and you will, you will be very familiar with this number. Okay, tangent 60. Tangent 60 is just root 3. So this will be half minus root 6 over 2. Okay, sine square pi over 6 is the same as sine pi over 6, the whole thing square. Tangent square pi over 6 is the same as tangent pi over 3, sorry, the whole thing square. Okay, so even though they say without using calculator, can we still use calculator? We still can use calculator. It's just that we need to know how to express it in cert form. Okay, we just need to know how to express it in cert form. So changing to radian, I have sine pi over six. Don't square it first. You know why? You need to show the examiner that you're doing this. So two bracket half square, right? Because you are very, technically you are supposed to not use any calculator. Tangent pi over 3. Pi over 3 is 60. Okay, so when you use your calculator, you key in tangent pi over 3, you'll get root 3. Okay, then we work this out. 2 times 1 over 4 minus 9. Okay, so this would be negative 8.5. Okay, so again, the important thing is anything that is in terms of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90, you have to use this, you have to express them in the exact form. And the only complicated ones are 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And okay, also 45 degrees. So how do we know it's a third form? Just go and square the value where you see in the calculator. Okay, and then work it backwards. You'll be able to write down.